Welcome back to Cardboard Box. Today we're going to be looking at Transformers Highbrow. He's a deluxe figure from Hasbro's Titans Return series. He's a reimagined version of the 1987 character. This is the toy artwork. And this is how he looked in Season 4 of Transformers. More than That's the not eye. the right highbrow, Daddy. What? You're supposed to look at the green one. The green highbrow? Yes. The one that's a plane? Yes. Not a helicopter. What? Why would you ever think that? Look at the plane highbrow, Dad. Okay, okay, I can't fool you. Let's say goodbye to this one. And we'll take a look at the highbrow that was actually in the mystery box. Instead of double rotors, this highbrow sports twin turbo props. The vehicle mode is loosely based off a Lockheed P-38 Lightning. This toy is full to the brim with surface detailing. There's landing gear struts, vents, air intakes, a Gatling gun machine guns near the inside of the props, and rivets. Rivets, rivets, rivets everywhere! But not an Autobot symbol in sight? Whether it's alt mode or bot mode, he doesn't have any faction symbols. I've never heard of that on a Transformer before. He does have P plus 10 painted on his side. Does anyone know what that means? There's an odd insignia on the back tail wings. The agents of the internet tell me that that's a spider pretzel thing. A lot of the Transformers come with weapons that look kind of hideous when they're on vehicle mode, but these actually look pretty good when they're some sort of Gatling machine gun. Here's a quick comparison for scale and vehicle mode. Bear in mind that he's a Voyager sized figure. Wouldn't it be cool if the planes could really stand up vertically like that? Let's see how this plane transforms. You can easily transform with his guns attached, but I forgot and I'm not doing it again. Fold the landing gear in, untab the back wing, and fold all the little bits to become his toes and feet. Untab the nacelles, fold them down to become the calves, flip up the cockpit, untab and fold down what will become the hip assembly, fold down the arms which untabs the front, roll out the hands, split the cockpit down the middle to reveal wings and a jetpack. Like I said before, he could have done this with his weapons attached, and here they are. This guy looks like a warrior, and so does his boxer. Speaking of packaging, this is what his box bio had to say about him. You don't get as old as Highbrow without fighting a lot of desperate can't-win battles. He's been through his share, and he'll come out on top every time. The Fallen may be ancient and nearly all-powerful, but Highbrow is pretty old himself, and he's learning a lot of tricks over the years. Surprise! This guy references the Fallen. He wasn't in Revenge of the Fallen. But he's most definitely a Bayformer or has that aesthetic. No, he doesn't look like a robot made completely of knives, but his looks are all about detail, detail, detail. His head is molded to remind you of an old fashioned aviator's helmet and goggles. There's even a chin strap and radio mouth and earpieces. He's not a headmaster like his namesake, but his head does come with gimmicks. There's sweet light piping, and his goggles can shift down to form a battle mask and the light piping still works. The head's on a swivel, it can rotate freely, but it can't tilt or look up and down. It's also not removable, no matter how hard I tried. I'm sure there are talented folks out there who could customize him into being a headmaster. The arms on the highbrow work really well with one major aesthetic issue. When you fold at that hand, his arm looks broken. You can roll in his fists a little bit or even all the way. Sometimes that makes it look good. Um, otherwise, you can put a gun in there, and usually that helps a lot. He's got a bicep swivel, a hinged elbow to get some uh, ninety, I think. This big Popeye arms, full rotation at the shoulder. But the real fun is high routes, transforming his forearms in the props. When you push down the air intakes, the propeller spin. I don't know if it's a weapon or a defensive measure, but it's cool, it's fun. Let your imagination decide. See, that's the type of coolness I'm talking about. He has great balance, good leg articulation, and awesome ankle articulation. It can bend every which way. Let's see how he stacks up with some Decepticon flyers, mm -hmm. like Cyclonus, or mm -hmm. Starscream, mm -hmm. or Acid Storm, mm -hmm. Bumblebee. Yeah, he doesn't fit, but he's so cute. But I know you really want to compare him to a Nebula. <laughs> Stay out of river, that seemed kind of cruel. Maybe he doesn't have an Autobot symbol for a reason. So is this the definitive version of Highbrow? 
No. The G1 Highbrow was a helicopter with two rotor blades. Just having a plane with two props, does that make it equivalent? Not at all. It's probably just called Highbrow for copyright reasons. I admit, I'm biased against Bayformers. But this guy has a lot of good things going for him. He's detailed, he's solid, he's not hollow. He can pull off some fun poses. He's not a figure I have bought, and I didn't buy him. My son got him some years ago as a birthday gift. To this day, I still don't think he can transform him. He's able to transform the Titan's Return deluxe figures no problem, and he's having fun with all those little headmaster guys. So even though this guy isn't my cup of tea, he might be yours. You never know what's going to come out of the mystery box. Thanks for getting me out of my comfort zone and adding in something new and different. Well, old and different. So, what gets reviewed next? As always, you decide. Will it be Skull Smasher from Titan's Return, a real headmaster, or a bot that's head and shoulders above the rest? KFC's Citizen Stack, aka Ultra Magnus. Or will you tempt fate once again with the mystery box? You decide. Vote in the comments below. And let me know what you think about this video. Does Highbrow get high marks? Or does he deserve a Bayformer beatdown? You've been watching Cardboard Bots. See you next time. Oh, <laughs>